Well, we spent the morning cleaning. This thing was disgusting. Oh, it's still not all the way clean. Don't forget to watch the shop time clock. But yeah, we're live right now. All the parts are clean. Everything is disconnected here. Cab bolts, cab mounts. See how nasty that is around there? Inside of the master cylinder. Oh, look, the freaking bolts are missing on the battery tray. It's a quick wash right now before it goes up because it's pretty freaking dirty everywhere. And them harnesses are freaking nasty. Look how that gets. Clean the floor up. We'll clean our rug. We'll rinse some of this a little bit so the wheels don't get all nasty. Yeah, got a bolt. It just fell out. It was stuck in the tire steering cooler. Let's clean her all up. Get all those harnesses sprayed off. Down in here where the cab mounts go. No more nastiness. Inside on the radiator mounts. Oh. Shot back just filled up. Just one quick wash on all that while everything's exposed. And then the oil leak right here from the oil filter. Did one more wash, we'll maybe get a little more after this, just now. Holy crap, it's nice out here. We have leisurely tore this truck apart. The truck supposedly, according to some Yahoo that read it on the internet, is completely done. And all we have to do is put the lift arms on it and raise it. It should be ready. Let's find out. I, I wonder if I forgot something. I have actually bet money before, and I've lost money. I've won money. I think it's done though, let's see. Hmm. I missed it. But that's about the only angle I missed. It's clean. Everything that goes up with the cab should be clean. Oh, ah, almost clean. About a $100 bill right here. That cow's expensive, almost unobtainable. I don't know if I wanna start banging on this insulation that they have on the inner fender wells. Behind that is smooth plastic, easy to wash, water runs off, dirt runs off. That just gives the squirrels and chipmunks something to make a freaking nest out of. We're looking around before we take the cab off, it's the last little minute. You know, because once the cab comes off, uh, most of this just is going to be uh, uh, kept. Unless I focus on that enough. You know, I zoom in on it and let you look at it a little bit. And then we're like, well, you know, I really don't like all that broken crap up there on that expensive freaking cow. Just having a hell of a time. Still ain't even got the arms out. Every time Julie said, did you see that big dent? Every time we look at something. Almost put them all in. Clips are gone too. You ready? Nope. In theory, everything's done. I'm waiting on Julie. <laughs> Cut the rubber right in half. Uh, let's see what happens to it now. Go. <laughs> Cut it right in half. Honestly, I put that rubber on, but every single time we put it in between the lift arm and the truck, it cuts through it. So every single truck you've ever seen me do has actually just been metal on metal. Uh, I put the rubber on there, but from looking at all these pads, it, it's it's a pinch weld. It's going to cut right through almost anything. Julie just talked me out of not strapping it. She goes, you got straps? I said, no. She goes, are you sure? <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> we always strap. Lately, we've been taking the straps off uh, to clean and paint and wash. Good straps. <laughs> Dang, I lost. Like for real, no, lost completely. I mean, that in no way in the world does that go there at all. I didn't think so. It's supposed to hook up in the top lip of the bumper, but uh, it was over there. So you know what? Anybody that bet me, you won. I lost. That sucks. Well, we saw it before we destroyed it. Well, we checked the tensile strength of that push pin. Say bye-bye. Cab off, Ron's F-350, South Carolina.
Cab off. Thanks, Julie. Yep. I mean, we could wash it right here if you want. It'd be a lot simpler if we washed it right here. Few plugs were leaking. Let's see if I can loosen it. Parts are clean though. That's what I hate right there. When we go clean surfaces, when you leave exposed surfaces that like we sand on and you don't uh, put paint or something on them, they look like that. Yeah, in a perfect world, we actually paint it after assembly also to get those pieces. All right. All right, I think I'm gonna wash right now. So let's take a good look it's going outside and I'm gonna get everything I can possibly get out of here out of here so that is absolutely freaking hideous disgusting horrible that's bed plate off most definitely not even a consideration for it you see that side it doesn't really matter what this side looks like because the other side looks like crap you're not gonna do one side not the other hmm this is the before no heat shield no IPR wrap Hardly any provision even taken at all for anything having to do with IPR and heat. We used all the hardware. Oh, look at that, leaking. Oh, no. Oh. I mean, you know, I mean, half the bolts are in. You know, we're halfway. Halfway is like almost uh, all the way. We're gonna get good tape and do this with good electrical tape. Yeah. Oh, it's 03. Huh. Okay. That's why she's such a whistler, isn't it? A whole bunch of stuff might be botched, but. Bob would be proud. Got the belt on right. He'd be so proud. I mean, in order to do studs, you had that line off. We might go ahead and do that vacuum line. We're gonna have the engine out. I'm gonna have the vacuum line off. And there is the free axle seal that holds vacuum. I don't know, that looks like a new fan clutch. Excursion's a little close. It'll get nasty grease all over it. It fired up good. White Dooley fired up too. I just came out. It hasn't started since we got here from Ron's. This is where I parked it at. Tabs broke. That's the engine harness side of the fan clutch. I mean, it still locks on, but it's, it's broke. We really need to do the best we can to attach on your lower radiator hose. There'll be a clamp right here that goes on those two holes and it'll hold this up off your steering linkage. We'll see in a little bit if there's rub marks from a steering linkage because that is not on there. They almost got all the bolts in, almost. Okay, fine. They couldn't find the piece, but they zip tied it. This truck had the bolts break off on the AC compressor. I am going to tear the front just a little bit before we hot seat. Okay, that's had a tensioner replaced. Not sure there's anything wrong with that. I'm not saying there is, but it's also had a coolant pump replaced. You can tell by how clean the flange is. And you can also tell it's had it replaced because it's leaking. So, you know, they don't make good coolant pumps anymore. They don't exist. So it's a wear item. We should just uh, put a little drain under here and recirculate it back up into the degas bottle. I'm really turning into an advocate for an engine harness. I think it's glued on. I'm using this tool exactly how it's supposed to be used. Uh -oh. oh, she was in there. This was a broken AC compressor. Um, yeah, I can't get the ratchet down and the wrench down in there, so I gotta do it by hand. And I can't spin it by hand. Oh, well, any minute I might be able to. It's all the way touching. It had some green in it. It's an O-ring or something on it. But the bolts broke off inside here. They look pretty good. That's just what I was fighting was that O-ring. I mean, what was they even thinking? Putting that on like that. Oh, whatever. They just, but look, it's leaking in every single spot that it has to leak. It's leaking. Always trying to reinvent the wheel. They want to make their own flanges right here when every single truck that was ever made in the world had flanges already made by the OEM. So we don't do that. I mean, you might say, oh my God, that looks so good. Yeah, that looks so good. Yeah, that's, and so does that. Oh my God, that looks so good. All right, this is a reused bolt that they used right there. You might think it's not a problem, except obviously if they reuse this one, they reuse the other one and it's the one that broke. Okay, so you've already got a, a bolt that's old 
been in service for a long time. It's been tightened once. It's been hot and cold, hot and cold. And then you're going to loosen it and tighten it again and think it's going to hold. Replace this freaking hardware. If you're in a stud job or something like that and you're going to work on a truck, replace all that stuff. They were fighting against each other. I'm going to get you coming or going. Whew. All right. So let's get it on. Put the rain suit on. Put the full face helmet on. Fire up the hot seat. Come on. This is the only reason why I wear this full face helmet. We're getting this transmission. You're going to look away. If you don't have a helmet on, you don't have a Check and see how he's doing out here. Oh my god, I missed him cleaning the D gas bottle. Oh, missed a spot. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, this spot right there, I need some gray. And there. Missed both of them. Here's what it looks like. Oh, missed another spot. Look at that. You guys are just riding along with me, critiquing all this. There's another spot right there. A lot of time is spent just walking around looking for spots we missed. It looks pretty good though. There's no big rust holes. Yeah, I like it. We got the frame outside. It has the initial wash. I'm kind of letting it sit out there. I don't want to get a bunch of stuff on the tires as we push it back in, but I did a initial wash and washed the heck out of it, actually. Hits transmission real good, basically hit all this. Right now it's time to put our lights up, push this back in, and let's get it on. We've been waiting for this for a good long time. Finally ready to start. Let's get it done. Finished. The touch up, lights are up. Julie cleaned the floor a little bit. We're ready. Got our job site just about ready. Let's bring her in. Now that's what we're used to. We still got some parts back there though, because we have cab off parts and then heads off parts and then engine out parts. So we still have cab off parts over there that are not done yet. So we'll see what we do tomorrow. It's the end of the day. We'll possibly start breaking this sucker down tomorrow. We'll see. But she's, she's in progress. She's in the bay. Paint's still wet up top. That's okay. You can dry up there. Uh, the plan would be to get the engine out, paint the frame, get it all done, put it back in. Yeah, I mean, y'all know our goals. Yeah.